Hey everybody, welcome back to the vlog. So many of you had questions about Corel Aftershock Pro 3. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna answer those questions. In today's video, I'm gonna address just a basic edit, how I go about it, really quick, down and dirty, to be able to give the client what they need as fast as possible. Let's take a look. I just did a photo shoot for a senior, and uh, she was a dancer, and she wanted to do something on the beach. So let's go ahead and take a look at these real quick. As you can see, there is a lot of images here that we shot. Now, let me hit filter. Let me do one stars that limited it down. Let's do two stars. Here we go. And then what I'll do is I'll just pick a picture to edit. Here we go. This is nice. I like that. That looks good. All right. So the first thing that I do when I look at an image, I say, okay, what needs to be fixed? I can see here the horizon line is slightly off. I don't like this little, little rock sticking here. This little piece of rope right here um, is not that great. Maybe some of the sand I can clean up. So the first thing that I do with every image is I come over to details and then go down to lens correction. I click enabled and what it will do is Corel Aftershot Pro 3 will use its profile for my specific camera, my specific lens and fix barrel and pinch. Whatever needs to be done, it does. I do that with all images and it just simply works and it works out great. Then I come back up into the standard um, tab and what I do is I look at what needs to be fixed. What does the color look like? Now the color I know is perfect because I use one of my tools. I used a PRT, the photo reference tool. So I got the color right on set. So I know that the colors are perfect. I don't have to play with Calvin. The temperature is great, but I know that it's muted. So the first thing I do, I always click perfectly clear and see how does it work. And for this image, wow, it does an amazing job, right? So next thing I'll take a look at is, well, let's look at this horizon line. So let me grab my rotational tool here and click on the horizon line, stretch that line right across it, let go, and there you go. It is rotated perfectly. Now. Let me grab my crop tool and I'm gonna crop in a little bit. Let me turn on my crop mark so I can see what's going on here. Let me go ahead and crop in a little bit from the top. I like that. Now this rock is gone a little bit from this side. I like to leave this city here. That looks kind of nice in the background. So let's go ahead and do that. Hit enter. There we go. That looks good. Now we still have this. I could have cropped it out, but I didn't want to reduce the size of the image. We still have this little rope over here. Let's address that real quick. Let me zoom in here. So now remember, this is a non-destructive editing piece of software. So whatever we do, we can always undo it after. So I'm gonna go ahead and edit out this little piece of rope. Let me go into my layers here. And as you can see, we're on a main layer. We're gonna create a new layer. We're gonna make a healing or clone layer. So here we are, we have this new layer. I'm gonna use this, I could use round, but let me use this one right here. It's like a poly. So we're gonna go ahead and kind of click around this little rope piece here, just like that. Excellent. And then what we'll do is we'll move around and grab some of the rock somewhere else. I like it. That looks pretty good. So I hit enter. Now let's go ahead and zoom back out and see what that looks like. And there you go. It's perfect. No more rope. Now I see that we have this footstep here. I really don't want that. So let's go ahead and make another selection around this little footstep and just click all the way around. Don't have to work too hard at it. Just like that. And then drag to where we want to pick up that data from right over here. Now we can go and zoom back out and there you go. We can turn it off or turn it back on. Turning it off, you can see the rope is there and the footstep and by turning that healing and clone layer on, it's gone. There it is. And like I said, being non-destructive, it makes it so that you can always go back to where you left off. Now, for a fast down and dirty edit, I like this. The other thing that I like to do is come down back into where it says details, go down to the bottom. We here to perfectly clear noise removal. I'll click that on. That will reduce some of the little dots that you see from digital images. It'll just kind of make it almost like a painting, right? It'll be very smooth. I like that look. So, and that's it. Not anything else really needs to be done. This right here is right 
ready to show a client and I didn't have to do a lot to it. It literally took me probably maybe a minute or two to be able to get a really nice image for the client to take a look at. So let's go ahead and save that out. I'm going to come over to files, export, export files. I'm going to save this as a 100% quality JPEG. I'm not going to reduce the size. I'm not going to do any of that. We can do another video later on based on exporting and how to do batches and all kinds of other fancy stuff. But for now we hit OK and there you go. The file is out there. Now, being that this is non-destructive, right? The beauty of it is, like I said, you can always get back. Now, there's one way that I just really, really like about this software. And what it is, is you can go and click on the image itself. Okay, right click select version and then new version from import. What it'll do is it'll create a new version and you can see it right here. It says V2. So this is the original. It created another copy of it, but with no settings, nothing done to it, just default. So this is what it originally looked like and this is what it looks like now. What a major difference from literally like a minute's worth of time, right? Absolutely awesome. The other thing that you can do, like I said, since it's non-destructive, you can always go backwards. You can come into view, come down to history, and here is the history of everything that was done. So we can go anywhere back all the way to the very beginning, if we hit the initial settings, you can see everything is back to the way it was, right? If we come back down to the very last thing that we did, which was the noise removal and click on that, you can see everything pops right back to where we left off. Once again, non-destructive. You can always go back and fix anything that you're doing. I really like the way Aftershot works in layers, just like Photoshop. You can always go back to an adjustment layer. You can go back to a cloning layer or a healing layer or the main layer or any layer that you want to and do whatever you need to do to that layer. So that's it guys. Really simple. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. That would be absolutely awesome. And send me your questions. I know that you guys have a lot of questions on Aftershot. Those are the questions that I'm answering right now. I'm probably going to do about four or five videos for you guys. So watch out for them. And I'm going to answer all of your questions one by one by one. So anyways, that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you on the next video. Take care.